fight in a 5v5 with Ooh. the Lux running straight in. And I like Alphite this. is actually quite effective against Jace here. This is a smart pick, and there's a tremendous amount of physical oh, wow. to farm this, because they're going now they're away. trying to dive. Okay, who pulls aggro? It's going to be the Jace taking the first shot. One turret oh, shot in, kites right up. back out. They can't do it now. They're going to try angle. anyway. Good flash gets away from the jump. This could be a death on the end. He's not out of range. Oh, just barely jumps away, but that is flash for two for one on find this, so. He's flashless. Yeah, where's the, the dual lane? Comes. It's gonna be a 50-50. They've got Phoenix here first, him. and he's got no way out. He's certainly gonna die. This has to be first blood. Oh, he's gonna get grabbed by Aphromoo, but he's stunned. He can't get away, flashing away. Oh my gosh, he actually pulls the teammate out, but the Ocean Rake goes to Echo Fox. Still advantage on the red side. Phoenix flashing in for the root, the cell bolts as well, but does he buy enough time? A knockup will still mean first blood goes to Echo Fox. Really Farm nicely advantage. done there, so. Nothing to write home about. Bangs isolated. He's got to wait, wait like five more seconds. They can get in a range. One more auto deck just comes in. And Bang mid lane two. pushed in. So this is far that who he is losing to get this. They're going to take away a jungle camp as well. So, oh, he no hit the ult. bubble. No ult. Flashing over to combo it in. And uh, how good of a way out does he have? Rush never propped R. Had to wait for the flash. It wouldn't have dealt damage. And then after that flash, he was out of range. Solo flashes in for the Q. Not taking up someday. But where can Jarvan go? A nice knockback by some time. Phoenix tries again, nice flash wave, but now they're getting the dunk. Arrow's not gonna land either, but it's still 3v1. There's the bubble, certainly a kill. The aggro comes in, Phoenix and Rush gonna oh, walk. But it's still gonna be second Ocean Drake, no problems, Echo Fox. No one's gonna contest the objective, it's an easy smite for Rush. Call the lane swap, they have so many members up here, but they're getting poked on this Rift here. I don't even know if they can finish it. And now Teleport's getting burned as well. They're gonna go for the pretty big play onto this one. Waiting for who to get over the wall. More of the team getting out of range. And it does not have Smite nor Flash. This should be pretty effortless for Rush. And instead of just going for the kill right away, there was no way out for the Olaf. He didn't have escape tools. And now a dunk on a Huhi. Flashes over the wall. Blast cones away as well. But still, it's now 5 0. Echo Fox keep getting more. And now a sleep on Ash. Flashing to buy more distance. Huhi tanks a bit of it. And now it's going to be a stun out of the turret. And Rush gives up the. And all that yes. time that Bang was up top. He wasn't farming. Apollo was farming. He was pushing, and they are just insanely ahead at this point. This could be the second turret as well. Demolish still ready to go on this after the charge as well. And look at the extra damage out, but here it can tank. They're gonna knock down both turrets in the mid lane here. Shin, that's not gonna get any damage. Finally, an objective on the map as who he's put pushed top lane. Not really any opportunity to poke them down. You can stay out on the map much longer. You can play around things like Baron and baiting much longer, not having to actually recall and go back to base. So we'll see if they can find any real uses for this and if they actually change on point they need to get them out of the pit entirely this time around a big chunk of damage towards the saber they'll actually knock down apollo at the very start of it all before the baron even spawns a single comeback kill with a bounty now, of on course alice were coming as well and they might be able to get this 3v1 kill the dealing of 100 thieves slowly coming down as well and solo trying to buy as much space as he can here comes alistair here comes a vessel voyage nice, nice stopwatch stop gets away from the combo and this time around somebody's gonna feel safe half hp on solo haku a bit low as well pop sealed apollo Holding for the moves through the arrow still gonna land, and now there's no way out. Aquo cannot burn through it. Suddenly it's a four versus two, and they get another kill hunter. He's slowly, slowly eking back into this game. Echo Fox might answer, but it's 4v5. Can they find it? There's a drowsy Aphromoo. The Tom Kent sleeping with the fishes, and now a knockup here, and they will get that dunk of trade kill the 4v5. Stopwatch now burns the rush as well. The re-engage from Malphite looking to burn him down. Olaf still alive, and more seconds bought, but a very low health. Olaf cannot keep fighting. Solo at 5 HP. The flash forward. Someday finding the shutdown. Looking for Rush, but he's got to be careful. And the trade kill on top of this one. Three on three on the map. And the health bar is going lower. The resurrection now. Bang! Has a flash oh, away from the bubble. out, but it's too late for Hako. He gets locked up and taken down. And the fight can as well. There's only a single flash on Afro. The dodge from Stuff. Phoenix taking the front line. And here comes the engage. They find the knockout of Tom Kench. They can try to burst down this one. Over the wall he goes with the Olaf. That's now all the flash is gone. This is assuredly going to be a kill on Tom Kench. Stopwatch buys two and a half seconds, but he will still die. Slowly but surely, they wait for the shield. A couple more auto attacks. There's the kill picked up. That's Baron Bait number one. Yeah, that is making their way over. Nash Arrow is up. They're going to cast it here. Apollo spells you as it walks away. Who he not going to pull the claw? This is going to be, once again, the peel back. Looking for a drowsy Ash head buff, pulverized. Burst damage, bang, he's gone. Another kill onto Olaf is assuredly going to happen. Now it's three in a row from the Baron Bay. And once again, back to the... A Malphite ultimate is still available. They never committed that. So if you ever overcommit to the fight, you will get taken down. That was masterfully done by Echo. This whole team is firing pretty well. The bot lane's been good. And Phoenix has honestly been a really good contributor as well. Yeah, I mean, they took three of the most solid contributors from Clutch last year, and they paired them up with 
Phoenix and Rush, and I think that you know Phoenix has been playing very, very well for the team. Rush has had his ups and downs, but this is certainly a team that is in playoff contention. This is a team that is dominating 100 Thieves, who yeah. by most was put in the top three as far as power rank. Instead, it's just simply Echo Fox who are having their way with this one, and on the on the route to a four and four record, which is securely in playoff position right now. Looking at the rest of this one as they keep chipping down this mid outer Hakko a bit on his lonesome on the bottom side. They have to respect what a potential engage might be, but looks like it's Hunter Thieves not willing to fight, especially with that turret being down. So two inhibs will drop, and there's still a minute and change left on this Baron buff. Nice poke there on the end, and down below 2k health. And they're just going to continue the push. They're just non-stop regening up, completely ignoring all this poke with their triple ocean. and. First Thieves. Nexus turret getting low. They've got to pull the trigger. They find a summon the front lane. He's got Dragon Angel. A nice knock up on the bottom side for Hakuho. And they're still trying to burn down Rush, but GA means he's pretty safe. He's even got a stone plate to make sure he's durable. That tank frontliner build is, I guess, working for him. As his turret gets shipped down, one more shot from the cannon, and more of the base is falling. Now the question is, do you even reset or do you wait 12 seconds for Ocean Drake to kick in as Phoenix gets health back up? Yeah, I mean, he basically has a mini war mog at this point, just regening about 40 health per tick there. Up and up and up, and they just can't push it back. The last Nexus turret's about to fall. One more shot would do it in a quick redemption heal, and there for Hell of keep going. The turret's gonna fall. It's open Nexus in the 29th minute. Rush goes in for the double knockup. Malphite follows alongside the Alistar, and it's a slaughter. Phoenix trying to run. He gets away from someday. Guardian Angel pops, and look at this. There's only so much damage left in the lineup. A double kill for Solo's Malphite, the first of the year, and a 29 minute win. Echo Fox, four and four. Absolutely dominating performance here today from Echo Fox as they really just decimated 100 Thieves there. It felt like nothing the 100 Thieves were trying was working. There was so much time spent from Onda on the top side of the map trying to get someday ahead, and it was not paying off whatsoever. They failed the first dive, really mismanaging the aggro there, and from there, Rush and Phoenix and the rest of the Equifox team were able to consistently punish Onda anytime he misspent a resource, anytime he used a cooldown. They were on him non stop, found him on the dragon, push him off there, force out the ultimate of the Raptors, invade him at the blue buff non stop, and it was really, really strong play. Really good stuff. So Echo Fox at four and four, temporarily a 